everybody and welcome to 2018. Can you believe it's the year 2018 already? <sighs> Where did the last 20 years of my life go? <laughs> so this year, everybody, you know, some people try to do resolutions. I'm going to bulk up or I'm going to lose weight or I'm going to get surgery to fix whatever, you know. You know, we all have these... A lot of people, unfortunately, focus on superficial things. <laughs> and instead of doing a lot of inside and personal health work, spiritual, physical, psychological, mental, whatever. So, I started the year with doing purple in my hair. See that? And I did that so I can remind myself when I look in the mirror of not all my superficial flaws and defects, like adult acne or scars or whatever I did this so that when I look in the mirror I can remind myself my primary focus on this planet and it took me almost 40 years to figure it out is I'm a healer okay and and it's also amusing when my hair flies in my face and I'm like ooh that's pretty purple you know <laughs> And if other people see me, I'm sure, you know, I get weird looks anyway, even if my hair is a normal color. Um, when people look at me, if they, it's a conversation starter. And uh, I told my hairdresser, I'm a healer in different modalities. And this is to remind me of my primary focus. And it's, you know, if people want to speak to me because they think it's interesting or ugly or whatever, it gives me an opportunity to open up a conversation with people I may not normally do and I've had compliments oh that's really neat so it's just it's just the front it's not my whole head because <laughs> I have fine baby hair and my stylist Becky what's up girl shout out I don't know if she'll ever see it but she didn't want to fry my hair and break it all off so we just did the front part so it kind of accomplished both our deals here <laughs> so I have a challenge for you in 2018. I challenge you to take your power back. Okay? If you're in an unhappy situation, here's some things you can do. You can either adapt to them, you can change them, or you can dissolve the situation. What are your choices? Okay? Leave it. Take it. Change it. And the, another way is to do that, find some meditation and healing uh, videos and music soundtracks for you. Do massages, do spiritual baths with essential oils and like amethyst, um, rose quartz, things like that. Make sure they're not toxic, you know, because some, some stones you cannot drink or ingest water from them. So you want to check out what stones you might resonate with and make sure that they're not toxic to soak in you know because I've done a spiritual bath for lover and it was awesome and it was to heal his physical body but it did I, I did salt lamp in the bathroom I did this 432 megahertz um, spiritual and healing um, song that I found on YouTube which is about an hour which is awesome it's great to sleep to as well so you can do some subconscious repair work while you're sleeping and I put uh, actual coal not charcoal but coal rose quartz and amethyst in the bath and I read and I put in uh, Dr. is it Dr. Tom's you can find it at the W Mart a big bottle of Dr. Tom's um, healing and muscle relaxing bath soak and you know because he works a lot of overtime and he was working like three months straight with like two days off 12 and 16 hour days and I got I can't handle it when he's in pain or he's suffering so I ran that bath and it was amazing it oh man it recharged his batteries it soothed his body it just it was awesome so I would recommend that to, I call it a spiritual bath for anyone that is having like some difficult issues either pain in your body or you know stress and depression that would help uh, another thing I did for this past year was do a good things jar every time something awesome happened I write it down date it put it in my jar and I need to make an entry for last night but that helped when I was having bad days or I was really angry at 
at my sweetheart, <laughs> I would pull out some things that happened and it would remind me that last year for me was pretty freaking awesome, to be honest with you. Of course, yeah, we struggle. We have issues like everyone else. Um, money is a huge struggle for everyone. Not so much me. I do stress out over it sometimes because I'm programmed and I'm a human being. And unfortunately, we need money to survive in this world. But, you know, instead of doing a jar, because it does take some dedication to go in and stop and write it down and put it every single time... Uh, you can get a little journal and write down good things that happened every day and flip through that, you know, or if you're having a bad, and I recommend this to people that struggle with depression as well, do a daily journal, find something that wasn't absolutely horrible for that day. Like the skies are pretty blue today. It can be simple. It's like I fed myself today, you know, start small if you're in a bad place, but I do challenge you to take your power back. If you are in a situation where you feel like someone is bullying you and demeaning you and you feel like you're cowering to them and they make you very angry when you're around them, think of why. Why do you care what they think? Why do you care what they say? Why does it upset you so much? This, You are an autonomous human being, okay? What their opinions are only affect you if you let them. And that's their problem, not yours. Now, I know we have to make uh, some, some give and take in situations such as your job. And sometimes you, you can't really help who your boss is. But you can start taking your power back by not letting their problem or their negativity weigh so much on you and affect you. You can file reports if you need to. Go to HR if you need to. Transfer departments have a conversation with that particular boss, date and time, everything that's going on. You get what I'm saying? Find a way to change what's happening to you. If if it is hurting you, why is it hurting you? And what can you do for it not to hurt you, okay? Communication is a huge thing, you know. And if that doesn't work and and you do it in a very gentle, respectful manner, you can't confront someone with issues especially if it's a really bad situation because you have to be careful how you approach it you know be the professional or be the adult of the situation but take your power back I mean there's the three F's clause that I go by if they're not effing you and you know what that word means feeding you or financing you then you know you know, they really don't matter. Even if they are, you're still an autonomous, sentient being, okay? You do not have to be in that position where you feel like you can't exist. It is painful to exist in that situation. So I challenge you to take your power back and change your situation. Now, if you want to do, I'm going to work out and be buff and lose weight and have surgery and whatever, and you think that makes you feel better, that's good for you. If you're doing things to be healthy so your meat suit will last you longer and have a smoother ride, that's cool too. But I want you to take in perspective the things that humans do that fail the most is in a comparative aspect. I don't have a ski do like the neighbors. I don't have the nicest house like my friends or I don't have... That's when we fail. When you do things in a comparative mindset to be like or be better because of someone else, that's when we fail. What you should do, in my opinion, and I have found out that this is a peaceful way to live life and it takes a lot of stress and burden away, go watch my How to Live Stress Fee video. It should be the very first one when you go on my channel that pops up in the preview, if you're new especially. Keeping up with the Joneses, man. You're always going to fail if you're keeping up with the Joneses, as the saying go, And that means... You're trying to be better or as cool as the Joneses. I have a family member that's like, why don't you just go out and get a new vehicle if yours, this is seven years ago, um, breaks down or uh, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, oh, because I don't have a credit debt like you. I don't have credit cards. I don't live beyond my means. I pay what I have in my account. When that runs out, I wait till I get more to buy more groceries or essentials or winter clothes or whatever. I shuffle some bills around sometimes when I need to. Okay. You don't like the way my house is? You don't like my vehicle? 
you don't think, uh, you know, you think I'm uh, broke or poor or slumming or what? That's your problem. Because I have a peaceful, happy existence. I don't, I don't have debt. I don't, I don't have to stress out about my stuff being taken away because I don't live beyond my means. I don't live in a comparative competition type aspect. I live peacefully and as cool and as synchronicity and as earth as I can. And it is so, so much better. Okay? So think about that. Are you living beyond your means? Take your power back and focus on you internally. Your health, your psychological health, your physical health. And I want you to understand that human beings, we get caught up and we get boo-boos on the inside. Like we get boo-boos on the outside. And they're both very vitally important. And if one or the other is left unattended to run rampant, it will fester, get worse, and then cause spread like a cancer throughout the system. You understand what I'm saying? Your mind and your stress level directly affects your physical health. Okay? And, then pe and obviously vice versa. Like when you have back issues and you can't do much, you can get in this depression mode of, I can, I can't because of, and it hurts so much. So, work on inside. This year, work on your inside. What can I do to make myself better? Um, massages help me physically, emotionally, and spiritually. There's energy and reeking he reeky healing. Acupuncture, chiropractor. Um, change your diet. Are you getting fresh fruits and vegetables? You can drink V8. You can do like, I love Bolt House Farms. They're really high, but... You know, even a little one, it'll last you a couple of... It's just got a bunch of servings of fruits and vegetables and important nutrients for your body. So, that's my challenge this year. Okay? And let me know how you're going. And I have other ideas for new videos, but I wanted to bring in the new year and say welcome to 2018 and challenge you to be a better, more awesome, higher vibrational you. See ya! Bye!